I know it seems like the end of the world. Uh, I know it does seem like that, right? You'd wake up and think, you know, Jesus is coming back as a rapture. Yeah. Um, has there been go- anything going on in your life personally mm-hmm. where you felt shot at? Yes, there's just been a lot of spiritual warfare in general. Okay. Because I've been... With others. With others, n- not a whole lot, but there is a lot of, like, self deprecation in regards to my relationship to them so more of how hard I am on myself in regards to that relationship okay but where in your life do you feel like you're being shot at Uh, really just at my own personal achievements that I that's a personal achievement yes yeah so there's two of them though so do you know is it two things I think one of them is just identity okay for sure it, one of them is being shot at my identity, um, and then the other is being shot at my dreams for my future. Okay. All right. That's what we're talking about. All right. And the reason why I know that it's not has to do with the end of the world and, and this, this thing, you know, it's, it could be one paradigm could be that it was, it's a prophetic dream. But we've got to go in and say the dreamer's actively involved in the dream. How does this affect the dreamer? And we understand that because you're in a living room, which mm-hmm. speaks of relationships. Mm-hmm. And so there's this something is going on with some relationships you're having. And these two daughters are something that you're raising. It's your achievements. It's, your, um, it's, it's things that you're responsible for, right? And so we, what do we always ask ourselves? Because we could wake up from this dream and think, oh, you know, I, I'm trying to get her to put a tab on my website that says <laughs> overwhelmed dreamer. Yeah. Because it's like they... It's like everywhere I go, it's like I dream and I know God's speaking, but what's he saying? You know, it's just so overwhelming. How do I even put it all together? We know that it has to do with you personally in relationships because living room speaks. That's where if I go over to Laura's house, Laura invites me into her living room. And (laughs) we're done. Thought that was weird. She might invites me into her living room, and we sit down and we have relationship. That's where a relationship yeah. happens. Also in kitchens, at around a table, mm-hmm. is relationship. If you were in your bedroom, it would speak of some intimacy issues that maybe you're having. And so I would look, and now, so that makes me think, okay, this really isn't about the end of the world. It's about the end of your I world. I didn't get that from the <laughs> yeah. dream either. I never had, like I said, I had complete peace the whole time. Right. So I never felt like it was the yeah. end of the world. It was just what the world would have perceived as the end of the world. Okay, so let's walk through this dream. We have an understanding that this is about your life and about your relationships. You have something that you're responsible for. We see that that you, you've got some responsibility in the natural. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Ooh, I currently work in retail okay. uh, at an outdoor uh, adventure kind of themed store. Okay. Uh, but I was a wilderness guide uh, in New Mexico. Um, but I have dreams of being a, just having a safe house for homeless people and people to get off the streets and have a place of nourishment. Um, Okay. That makes sense. And so a lot of times we manifest our calling in the natural from the spirit realm. So even though we, so I always say this, your profession in the natural is a physical manifestation of what you're called to in the spirit realm, Mm -hmm. which is wild adventure. (laughs) Yeah. And a little bit crazy, yeah, right? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so th- of course, that's why you're going to be attracted to that. And retail speaks of, I'm going to try to sell you on this too, mm-hmm. right? So it's an evangelistic gift. Yes. Retail is, hey, you need this. You need this. So people who have been called into retail or who, you know, don't even know why, maybe they don't even like retail, but they're in it. And it's usually because they're evangelists. Mm-hmm. And so th- it's a, and, and that, what you're doing is preparing your character to do what God's calling you to do in the yeah. spirit realm, yeah. right? But remember, weird stuff happens and spiritual attacks happen before the natural comes. Mm-hmm. So, it, so what we do in the, and a lot of times, unfortunately, we, we get into our profession and we get stuck there, right? So um, I went into to law and I, you know, I'm very justice oriented because I'm a prophet, right? So that's why I went into law. I was drawn to law because I'm a prophet and I speak justice and there's a plumb line, right? I believe in the plumb line. I'm black and white. There is no gray. This is what it is. And prophets are, are that way. There's no gray, right? So uh, that was my 
natural manifestation of my physical, of my yeah. spiritual call. But it's in that place that, and a lot of times people get stuck there because they don't understand that this is just training ground yeah. to step yeah. you into what yeah. God really wants you to do. And they get stuck because they see no way out. Mm -hmm. And because every time they go try to make the way out, the enemy just, you know, slams them and then they go run back into their, their profession, right? So now you're, we've got, you're in this house and the, what you're responsible for is kind of like saying back to you, you know, hey, are we, are, are we, are we going to be okay? And yeah. you're like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah we're not going to be okay. <laughs> but you understand this because what in the whole dream has to do with your spiritual maturity yes. and, and you have a um, heavenly perspective of things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is unusual for your age. Yeah. And, and I don't know your age, but I, I see that it's highly, uh, you're 22. It's highly unusual for you yeah. to have that kind of perspective in this world mm -hmm. that you would, that you have been given such a vision of understanding that chaos is about to ensue, but we're going to be okay. Yeah. 